Welcome to Benefits Cal, an easy way to apply for and renew food, medical, and cash assistance benefits. This video will show community-based organizations the various features for CBO accounts. In this demo, we will cover many topics for CBOs using Benefits Cal. This includes how to request access, how to log in, an overview of the CBO dashboard, how to submit applications, how to view reports, how to create and manage staff accounts, and where to view the Help Center. So, what is Benefits Cal? Benefits Cal is a new, simple way to apply for assistance and manage benefits, such as food, medical, and cash assistance, all on one website that is accessible from any computer, tablet, or mobile device, all available in 21 different languages. Community-based organizations, or assisters, can do several things on behalf of clients within Benefits Cal. They can submit applications, upload documents, check application statuses, view reports of their activity, and create and manage staff accounts. There are two types of CBO accounts available on Benefits Cal, a CBO manager account and a CBO staff account. Both managers and staff can use Benefits Cal to apply for benefits, upload documents, and view reports of their applications. CBO managers can also view reports that include the activity of the staff in their organization. Managers can resume applications on behalf of another staff member and managers can add or remove staff accounts within their organization. Let's review how to request access to Benefits Cal. Let's get started. Navigate to BenefitsCal.com. From the homepage, click Login at the top right corner of the screen to get started. On the login screen, click Register your CBO account under Community-Based Organizations, or CBOs. To request access, complete all the required fields. For the county, select the county where you assist the most clients. It's possible that you work in more than one county, and that's okay. Just select one for the form. Check the box to accept the terms and conditions. Then, click Register to submit your access request. The access request is on its way to the county. The county will review the request for access, and it may take a few days. Once approved, the county will create your account and send an email with instructions to get started. Here's an example of the email you will receive. The email includes instructions to complete the account registration process, as well as the user ID and a link to complete the account registration. Click the link to continue. Enter a password for your Benefits Cal account. The password must be at least eight characters long, have at least one letter, one number, and one special character. Re-enter the password. It must match. Then, click Save. After creating a password, log into Benefits Cal using your user ID and the password that was just created. Then, click Login. Enter three security challenge questions to help you recover your password in the future. Select a security question from the drop-down menu, then type the answer in the boxes provided. Then, click Save. Finally, click to accept the Benefits Cal Terms of Use. Next, you'll see the CBO dashboard. Here is the Benefits Cal dashboard for CBOs and assisters. At the top of the screen are menus for various topics. Benefits Cal is also available in many different languages, accessible from the drop-down menu. This is the dashboard for CBO managers. On the left is information about applications. Click to view staff applications and the status of applications you submitted by their status. Click the New Application button to start a new application. 
On the right is access to reports, staff accounts, and help resources. Now, let's look at how to view applications submitted by staff at your organization. Click View Staff Applications on the dashboard. Here, CBO managers can view the applications submitted by their staff. Click the View button to see a list of applications by status. Let's explore in-progress applications. The Applications screen displays the applications by status. Click the Continue button to resume the application and to submit the application. After clicking Continue, the Application Summary screen will display the steps to complete an application. A CBO can continue the application by clicking Start next to each section. Click the Benefits Cal logo to go back to the dashboard. Click View on the dashboard next to Application Submitted. This screen displays more information about the application. Click View Details on the Application Submitted screen to view more information about the application and to upload documents. The Application Details screen displays summary information about the application and allows CBOs to upload documents. Here you can see the application status. Click Upload Document at the bottom of the screen to upload additional documents. Next, click Choose a File and select a file from your local computer or mobile device. Then, click Upload to submit the document. The county will receive the document in just a few minutes for processing. Click the Benefits Cal logo at the top left corner of the screen to go back to the dashboard. Now, let's look at how to submit an application on behalf of a client on Benefits Cal. On the dashboard, click to start a new application. An overview of the application process displays. Here, more information is provided about what to expect during the application. Select the county for the application from the drop list, then click Begin to get started. This is the application summary screen. It shows each section of the client's application and the status. You can navigate back to this screen at any time. Click Your Information to continue the application. Select a language preference. Then click Next. Answer the questions that appear on the screen in the boxes provided. Click Next to continue. Check the box next to each program for this client's application. Click Not Sure What to Choose for more information. Click No to this question if the primary applicant, such as a parent, is not applying for benefits for themselves, but rather is applying for other household members like their children. Let's imagine now that the client is applying for benefits for themselves as well as for their family members. In this case, click Yes to confirm that the primary applicant is also seeking benefits. Then click Next. Continue to answer the questions on the screen through your information, people, and household details, clicking Next to continue. Keep up the good work. Let's continue by providing more information. Continue to answer the questions on the screen through your information, people, and household details, clicking Next to continue. In the People section, add any additional household members. Fill out answers to the questions on the screen in the boxes provided. Click Next to continue. Continue to answer the questions on the screen through your information. In the Income section, starting with Employment, answer the questions and select the boxes for the client's household employment status. Select the individual in the household with a job. Continue to answer questions about the individual's job and click Next to continue. The end of the income section shows a summary of the income for the household on the screen. Click Next to continue the same process for expenses and assets. For the expenses section, select all that apply for the client's household expenses. 
expenses can be split between household members. After reviewing the Expenses Summary screen, click Next to continue the application. One of the last sections of the application is Document Upload. We recommend uploading documents before submitting the client's application. The more information provided, the faster the application will be processed. After reviewing a quick summary of the client's application details and answering a few questions, CalFresh applicants must select for either an in-person or phone interview. Select a preference, then click Next. Now it's time to sign and submit the application. Enter the name of the applicant, today's date, and check the required boxes. Then click Submit Signature. After a final summary of the application, click Submit Application to finish. Congratulations, we have received the client's application. Click Save a copy of your application for a PDF copy of the application to use for future reference. Save the confirmation receipt through text, email, or download for later use. Click the download button to export the information to a PDF file. You may save and print this PDF for your records. Let's find the application that was just submitted. Click View on the dashboard next to Application Submitted. This screen displays more information about the application and where to upload documents. The Application Details screen displays summary information about the application and allows CBOs to upload documents. Next, let's look at the reports available in Benefits Cal. From the dashboard, Click the View Reports button to navigate to a list of reports available to CBO managers. Select a date range to view reports at the top of the screen. CBO managers can select the start and end date of the reporting period. Click Apply to update the information displayed. Click Export Data to download an Excel spreadsheet of the report. Click the Benefits Cal logo to go back to the dashboard. Now, let's look at how to create and manage staff accounts on Benefits Cal. Click the Manage Staff button for the Staff Management screen. Here, CBO managers can add new staff member accounts by clicking Add Staff at the top of the screen. Fill out the required boxes with the staff's information. Then, click Create Staff Account to continue. Great! The account is created and Benefits Cal sends an email to complete their account setup. The Staff Management screen allows CBO managers to view more information about the staff accounts. Click View next to a staff account to bring up the Staff Details screen. Here, CBO managers control if the account is active or inactive, and it shows more details about the staff account. If the account has a lock next to it, that means it is currently inactive. Click the Benefits Cal logo at the top left corner of the screen to go back to the CBO dashboard. Now, let's take a look at the Help Center. The CBO dashboard has a section for help and resources on the screen. Click View Help Center for more information. Within the Help Center, many resources are available to help both CBOs and customers. One helpful feature is Call Me. On the Call Me screen, select the county. Click the Call Me button to schedule a call with a county representative. Please enter a first name, last name, and a phone number. After clicking Submit, a county worker will call the number provided. From the Help Center, another useful feature is to live chat with a county representative. Select a county from the drop-down menu. Click Start Chat, enter your question, and Benefits Cal will connect to a live chat with a county representative. Another useful resource in the Help Center is the How-To Videos. 
On the how-to video screen, you can find more videos to learn about using Benefits Cal, such as how to log in or how to upload documents. Click the link to watch on the Benefits Cal YouTube page. Thanks for watching. For more videos and help resources, visit benefitscal.com/help or visit the YouTube channel Benefits Cal.